Hi everyone, this is new plotting of photography tutorial and in the next 10 minutes I'm gonna show you how to make these boring bottles look shiny and nice like there's actually light inside of them that's a pretty basic tutorial for beginners and if you already know how to do stuff like that you might wanna buy um, the whole lesson of how to create image like that uh, not image like that but this actual image uh, you will be able to download source files from the camera and also final PSD files file and following my instructions do the exact same job so I've got two images here because I want to show you two different ways I usually use um, there are probably a lot more, but these two are most common. So let's start with the first image. Um, I want to make selection for inner part of bottle where all the whiskey is and same for the glass. So the first way is to use curves uh, layer here. And I want to make all whiskey parts much lighter than now. Something like this probably. And then I want to put it, put this layer in a group and create a mask for it. And then use a raising tool, erase tool or brush, doesn't really matter, with zero hardness and erase uh, the mask on the sides of the bottle and of the glass. By hitting X button I can change um, white and black color here. So if I switch back to uh, white I can erase the mask and if I switch to black I can start drawing this light part here again so I'm switching back and forth um, in order to create the perfect shape of this shining shining part in the bottle and let's do the same for the glass here So as you can see it's fairly easy to do and that's why you should always do it. Never leave your bottle um, flat, it should always shine from inside. So let's make another um, curse layer. So then again two selections and another curse layer and this one would be for the sides of the bottle and the glass which would be way darker than now and again common G to put it inside the group create mask here and probably fill it with black by using shortcut common delete common um, backspace I guess it called and then again using erase tool with black uh, color on the front to open some mask on the sides okay something like that um, I don't like that I think it's too colored right now doesn't look real to me so I'm going to um, open this curse layer again and probably just go back to um, natural look and then try again so as you can see if we just move this point here 
it became really saturated and if I take this curse here it just become not saturated and not really cool so what I want to do is to have some balance between those two yeah maybe something like that so yeah you can play with your images and make whatever you want um, I think the ID is pretty clear and I'm gonna stop here do not waste any time you can see already how much better it looks alright so let's switch to the second image and the second way of doing the same pretty much the same thing by using how does it call mm, adjustment layers I guess no adjustments is curse I don't remember how does it call in English so let's just do it and maybe I remember later so I've got three bottles of bud beer on this background and I want to do the same I want to make them shine from inside so what I want to do is create a layer and then take eyedropper tool click right here to pick the most light and bright color from the background and then using brush tool again with zero hardness to draw something from inside bottle it doesn't look really good now because it's a normal mode and I'm gonna switch it to overlay there are plenty of different modes here you can use soft light or screen but probably overlay would be the best one then it probably would be a good idea to copy the same layer maybe not with 100% opacity or maybe 16 or 17 or whatever make it look the best I'm gonna use 660 I think and I need another layer with color from the dark part of background and again brush tool and draw something on the side parts and use multiply mode again with some opacity maybe 30 or 40 something like that if it's too much I can just use mask to erase some parts I think it's pretty nice so let's do the same with this bottle here and it's right here I think okay so once again new layer pick color from light part and make some drawings with brush tool and erase some parts if I don't like them and switch to overlay and again copy this layer one more time and again one more layer with dark color and multiply ok 
All right, and the same for the third bottle. Again, two layers, light color, overlay, duplicating, 60% opacity, dark color, some drawings, multiply, 50% opacity. And that's that's kind of it. I don't like here that uh, bottles was moved from white background to dark background, and that's why we hear we see here white reflections. I'm gonna fix them in the next video. So stay with me and see you in the next one. And I think I'm done here. You can see the difference let's turn all those layers completely flat bottles which don't look natural on this great background and turn back on those layers I created and it looks perfect so what I suggest you is to use different try to use different layers I mean different colors different number of layers see how it works um, you can always post uh, what you've done in comments and ask for our suggestions thanks for watching bye everybody